Hello YouTube, Salivate Metal here, with some interesting thoughts that I was contemplating today, and I wanted to share them with you. And here lately, with through the Christmas season, I've noticed that my funds have dwindled greatly. Not that I had a whole lot to begin with, but I was able to make some uh, relatively substantial purchases, at least for, for my income level, in 2013. And I'm sure many of you have as well. I watch many of your other videos and see lots of people acquiring a lot of silver. Many of you are new stackers and new collectors to the community. So it's very much an inspiration for me to see your videos. But I've noticed that through this season that my, uh, my purchasing power has been limited um, through after making some uh, purchases and a, a little bit frustrated, somewhat jealous as well, mainly just because I like to get some of these interesting pieces that I see in some of these other videos. But nonetheless, it made me think a little bit about what our dreams are. You know, that's kind of a big visionary statement, but what is your dream as a, as a silver collector or stacker? You know, is it to preserve your wealth? Is it to just acquire a bunch of silver? Is it because you like the designs? Or is there, or do you really want to be rich? Do you see it as an investment? Or what have you? All those kind of thoughts go through our heads. And it's okay to dream big, so to speak, to acquire that thousand ounces, as some people say that's the, 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 uh, the goal for many people to get a thousand ounces, or a full contract, which is 5,000 ounces of silver, and a contract of gold, which I believe is a thousand ounces. So, what are your dreams? And that's a rhetorical question, because no matter what your dreams are, and no matter what your financial situation is, it's okay to dream big and to think small. Because as you see here in the center of this design of silver here, we have these mercury dimes. And I didn't have much money. I really was not expecting to get these today. But I purchased these for $1.60 a piece. Somewhat over spot, but not much over spot. And they're relatively high grade pieces. So I'm proud of the purchase because it preserves my purchasing power. And, um, and it, it adds to the stack, so to speak. And some of these others, these, these, uh, these one ounce rounds, or one ounce bars here, generic, I pay very little over spot. And of course, the American Silver Eagles, you can pay, you know... Um, considerable more over spot because they're government backed and they're very well recognized and so forth. But nonetheless, buying one ounce at a time or a fraction at a time, sometimes all you can do um, from your local coin shop or from a bullion dealer. And as you've seen from some of my other videos, you can you've you've noticed that I've only purchased you know one or two ounces at a time. But nonetheless, that's what I call dreaming big but thinking small because it does add up in the end. And really, that's what matters because most of us have discretionary income of some sort. It just depends on what our financial situation is as to what that financial income will be used for, whether it be a 100-ounce silver bar, a new iPad, or... If you have a smaller budget, maybe splurging on that Starbucks cup of coffee. For me, it is to buy a mercury dime or to buy just one ounce of silver here and there. So just want to encourage everyone out there, no matter what your socioeconomic status is, it's okay to dream big, but think small. Think of, think of those small increments, because even when you can't make a big purchase, usually you you buy you know, a roll of 20, or you buy a big bar, but they're measured in ounces. So you're accumulating them and, uh, and making your stack grow or making your collection grow if you're a coin collector. So what are your thoughts? And uh, would like to extend a multitude of gratitude to you all for watching. Please rate, comment, and subscribe.